I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my student and I hope its solution helps you all. The question is to expand and simplify a plus b plus c whole square. Now uh, to do this what you can do is you can do a plus b plus c times a plus b plus c right multiply and expand this is one way of doing it perfectly fine. The other way could be we could apply the formula which is, which is, let me write here, let's say if we have x plus y whole square, we could write x square plus 2xy plus y square, right? So you could treat this as x and c as y, expand and then again expand. So two levels you can do. So either way, you're going to get the same result. So let me do both ways in this particular video. So first we'll multiply with A, all the three terms, correct? And then with B and C. So how many terms will you get? We get three, three and three, that means nine terms. Multiplying by A gives me A square plus AB plus AC. Now let's multiply by B. Now if you multiply B and A, you get BA, but you could write this as AB, right? Since you know, AB is same as, as BA, right? Let me write this because of the commutative property, right? Okay, so I'll prefer to write in the order ABC since it becomes simpler to add them, add like terms. You get the idea. Perfect. So B times A is AB, B times B is B square. And this is a good practice. B times C is BC. This is in the same order, so I just maintain. Now with C, C I change order. Instead of AC, I mean CA, I'm writing AC. Is it okay? Then C with B, I'm writing BC, and then C square. Perfect. So what do you notice here? You notice that we have three square terms, so we could write this as A square plus B square plus C square. So we have taken care of those square terms. And now we'll take care of terms like AB, AB, right? So there are two ABs. Similarly, you find two ACs, do you see? And then you find two BCs, perfect. So that takes care of all the terms. So we can now write here two AB plus two AC plus 2BC. Does it make sense? So you could do like this and you get your expression and that's a, a easy way to expand A plus B plus C whole square. So the result is you get A square plus B square plus C square and you also get 2AB, 2AC and 2BC. Okay. Now let us do the alternate method. Sometimes that may be the requirement, correct? So, so we'll write this time a plus b plus c whole square. We'll use the formula. So we'll treat this as our first term, x, and this as y. Perfect. So, so that is how we're going to do. Okay. So what I'm trying to say here is that, let me write like this. I'm using a plus b as one term plus c whole square you get the idea perfect so that is what I'm trying to do so and applying this formula a square plus x square plus 2xy plus y square so let me rewrite this a plus b whole square that is the first term plus 2 times a plus b times c right product of these two twice is that okay and then plus c square plus c square now, we again have a plus b whole square, which I could expand. So I get a square plus 2ab plus b square. Let me expand these terms, 2c times ab. So we get 2ac plus 2bc. And here we get plus c square. Is it okay? So again, you see, we have got these three terms. I could club them together, a square plus b square plus c square. And we have the other three terms, 
we don't even have to club them. So we have 2AB plus 2AC plus 2BC. This seems to be complicated to start with. However, it turns out to be simpler if you really see it, right? Anyway, so these are two ways you could always do it. You could always group them in different way also. Your wish. Try it out and then see what you get. I hope you appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe to my videos and write your comments. Thank you and all the best.